welcome to the new video so in today's videos i am going to demonstrate a new project project name is blood bank management systems we have made this project using a python language so where you can find this project you can check the descriptions of this video or you can just directly search uh, updatecut.com on the browser and then uh, on the search bar you can search the blood bank management systems blood bank you just enter that much and it automatically navigate to that project blood bank management systems using the python and after that you will navigate to this main project page here you can find all the detail of that project so just i uh, here you can check what exactly you need and how what are the features that are exactly going to that project uh, here all the details of the project uh, features and about what you are going to requirement and the screenshot how you can download this project you can check that also uh, after scrolling the page here is an option how you can download this project if you are looking for the free project you can check this link now i just start the demonstrations of this project first uh, opening the uh, first open your pycharm or you can use vs code also as i am using pycharm for the python we have data set also here is a db sqlite i am using a db sqlite for the storing the data so i just started this project now python run server after running this command it uh, it it open the server link so i just copy this and paste here and the home page will look like this one here you can add new images if you want to add a new you can add new we have three modules first i will in first i will tell you how the how this project is working the overflow of this project like we have an admin one is for donor and one is for patient so admin have all the authorities for this and this like he or she can edit anything delete anything related to the donor related to the patient or related to the uh, users and admin have the rights to update the details in both like in donor section or in admin in patient section so admin can do all these things and more, for more details you can check the uh, requirement uh, or you can check the feature sections of the website here i have mentioned all the details uh, related to the feature of the donor related to the admin and related to the patient what they can do what they cannot do so now i just opening the project and login as a patient login as a donor and login as a admin i will login with a both three section with the both three users first i will login as a admin and then after login as a admin we have these uh, panels we have these cards that showing uh, the blood group and the uh, total number of unit we have currently we have for that blood uh, i am just explaining this project because uh, you can uh, if you are interested in this project and it will help you to understand this project and you can explain to your interviewer or you can help it will help you in uh, explaining your teachers or your professor where you will are going to do this what we are going to do it up to you but it will help you to understand overall project flow and the how it's going working how it's working so it in the first when the uh, when the login uh, access the website when it navigate to the website admin panel so it showing the cards the total number of blood group we have total donor total request total approval request and total blood units it will count all these blood and display it here now it's a home page we can we can check the donor also like if i click on the donor section currently we have only one donor so it's showing 
the profile of the donor if we have more than one then it also display here currently only we have currently we have only one donor so admin can edit the profile here i can edit the profile of that donor or i can delete also if i want to delete that one now the patient sections we have currently we have only one patient so it's showing only the one but if we have more than one so it also display here now the donation blood donation details so this donor has requested for this and the uh, the request is pending from the admin and if i approve this one then it sent to this donor so i just approve this now this added to the stock of this donor blood request currently we have one blood request okay we can approve that also no blood request or by the patient so currently we don't have any as we have approved this one so here is the history of blood request and donors one unit deducted from the stock approved status and the blood stock so now what i am going to do i am added uh, this blood o negative as a 100 unit okay now we are going to all these uh, function as working fine or not checking at this group o negative so just i log out and log in as a patient i have already created an account so i just directly log in but if you are new so you need to create an account here now i just log in directly as a patient pet one okay now i request make a request patient name so the patient name is uh decode it patient is is uh, 25 we have added the patient reason what are the reason uh test reason okay which blood group i need o negative we will perform all the action on the o negative how much unit i add 20 unit and request so i have requested uh, 20 unit of o negative to the admin so admin will check this it will display me all the requests make a request and homes okay now and it also showing in on the card section the approve request pending request and request mode now i just log out from here and now i just open as a donor donor are those person who are going to donate the blood groups so i just add as a i just open as admin and then admin i got a request i can check the request okay donor request patient yeah i have a request where i can check this yeah i got the request currently we have only 100 unit and i have request from the patient from the donor uh, from the blood request so i have the request for this and it asking for the 20 unit if i approve then it automatically reduce the o unit so i just approve it and we can check it's showing 80 unit now same way for the donor also if uh, we open as a donor so we can check donor section also like uh, i am using the donor credentials i am a donor so i can add the blood group like i can, i'm using o negative with 30 unit and nothing and is 25 24 so it automatically add on to the admin section after approving the admin so currently how it's working like admin donor and patient patient request for the blood and then after approving it sent to the uh, patient donor add the blood uh, after approving the uh, after approving the admin and then donor so donor cannot directly add the blood directly to the 
database and that need an admin permissions after that it will be added to that database so now we have added our negative the 30 unit and if if a donor request it for the blood so you can I, they can directly request also but they can donate and request they can do both the performance they can do both the uh, they can do both for the requesting blood or for the donation of the blood so we have request uh, we have added it to 20 30 unit of o negative we just check the as admin admin and then admin now we have requested for the blood donation okay now we have uh, we have an requested for the 30 unit of o negative currently we have 80 80 unit after approving this request it will uh, it will add it to 13 to the 80 and it will become 110 now we will check now it's become a 110 so if you are interested in this project you can check the description of this video and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel decode it and how you can find this project you can check the updatecard.com and you can directly search that project on this website. So thank you for watching this video.